Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. So today's video is really exciting for me because I'm sharing my live swatch and review of the OPI Scotland collection for this fall 2019. I've had them for a while, so I've been playing around with them trying to find some really good dupes and comparisons for each color. I tried to pick polishes that are really close in shade and tone to the ones in this collection. Some of them might be spot on dupes and some of them are just really close. But you guys let me know what you think. There are 12 beautiful polishes in this collection with two limited edition shades. I purchased them all from polishpick.com. In my opinion, it's the best site as far as price to get all of your OPI polishes from and many other brands and collections. So I'll just link the site down below and you can check it out for yourself. So anyway, let's get into the swatches. The first polish is called You've Got That Glass Glow, and Glass Glow is a city in Scotland that houses the Scottish Opera, Ballet, and the National Theatre of Scotland. This polish is a creamy, lilac -y beige neutral, a very creamy, buttery polish, amazing formula. Two coats make it perfectly beautiful, and the closest polish that I could find in my collection was also by OPI, and it's called Somewhere Over the Rainbow Mountains. It's more pink and warm versus You've Got That Glass Glow is kind of cool and more purpley, and it dries darker. Next, we have Edinburgh and Taddy's, and I hope I'm saying that right, but Edinburgh is the capital of Scotland, and tatties are potatoes, and they're normally served with neeps and haggis, which is yellow turnips and minced meat, I think. This polish is a peachy warm-toned nude, perfect nude on my skin tone. This is one that's going to be a classic in my opinion, and it's going to suit everyone with warm undertones. I chose to compare it to Barefoot in Barcelona. That's also by OPI, and it almost matched. It almost matched, y'all, but Barefoot in Barcelona is much warmer, and it's a darker brown. Next, we have the Susie polish in this collection, and it's called Susie Needs a Locksmith, which is a really nice play on words. This polish is a terracotta pumpkin-y orange cream, super opaque after two coats, and super glossy as well. I decided to compare it to OPI's It's a Piazza Cake, and if this isn't a really good dupe, I don't know what is. It's a Piazza Cake is a little bit richer in orange, but they're almost exact to me, y'all. The next polish is called Clash of the Tartans and it's a deep shimmery berry. It's almost a one coater and it dries super duper matte and super duper fast. So here you can see just how fast it dries and if you apply your coats as quick as I did then you get all these little bumps and imperfections. So try your best to apply this polish as straight and as smooth as possible so that your final mani can be nice and beautiful. A tartan is the pattern that was used to make kilts and there were over 2500 patterns and each family or clan had their own tartan but they were banned. In 1746. So I compared this polish to All Your Dreams and Vending Machines from the OPI Tokyo collection. All Your Dreams is a more iridescent fuchsia than a deep shimmery berry, but they looked really close by bottle comparison, but they're completely different once you put them on your nails. But it was the closest comparable polish that I could find. The next polish is called A Little Gilt Under the Kilt, which is a horrible name. The polish is a deep red with a super subtle gold shimmer, like you can barely see it type gold shimmer is fully opaque at two coats. It has a really nice formula, but OPI always does awesome with its reds. This one is a little bit of a stainer though. And oh, a kilt is one of the most recognizable symbols of being of Scottish descent. Just thought I'd throw that in there. The dupe that I chose for this polish is called Romance on the Moon, and it's a tiny bit warmer and a little bit shinier, and it doesn't have that gold shimmer, but otherwise it's the same type of red. Next here we have Redheads Ahead, and I'm assuming the name of this polish came about because one out of every eight people in Scotland has red hair. So it's obvious that this is a classic red cream. It's a one coater. It's super basic, super glossy, but I love it. Like I said before, OPI just does awesome with their red creams, y'all. And this is not an exception. It's beautiful. It's just basic. But it wouldn't be an OPI fall collection without a classic bright red, right? There's so many dupes for this polish. Y'all know that. If you have an OPI red, you probably have a perfect dupe for this. Next up, we have Boys Be Thistling At Me. And y'all, this is the coolest name ever ever. The national flower of Scotland is called the thistle, hence the name. This polish is a deep metallic plum and the brush strokes do not bother me. They're kind of minimal anyway, but they don't bother me because this is a very pretty polish. It's almost a one coater, but it's super opaque with two coats and the color actually deepens on the second coat and it does dry dull. So you will need a shiny top coat. I chose the dupe for this as Rich and Brazilian from that Audrey Hepburn collection, Burt Cassette Tiffany's I think. And it's a more burgundy polish than it is 
plum and it's more warm and there's that weird shimmer in it but it's the closest thing I could find. Next up we have Good Girls Gone Plaid which is the hero shade in this collection. It's a super dark rich plummy purple. It's dark but it's not black and I love these type of polishes in the fall. I can't wait to wear this one on my toes. It's almost a one coater but there is a little bit of patchiness so you might want to use two coats and this one would benefit greatly from a shiny top coat but I bet it would be even more beautiful if it were worn matte. The dupe I chose for this one is Lincoln Park After Dark which is also by OPI. It's a little bit warmer but it's an absolute perfect dupe. The next polish is called Nice Set of Pipes and obviously when you think of pipes in Scotland you think of those big sets of pipes and drums that they play when you see them wearing those kilts. Is that what y'all think of? Because that's what I think of. Nice Set of Pipes is a dusty blue purple cream. It's a one coater, maybe two. Depends on how you apply your polish. It stains a bit but not a lot. I like it because it's really cool toned and it's one of those dusty blurpily like polishes. I compared it to Less is Norse from the OPI Iceland collection which is more grayed out and cool toned but for my collection this is the closest thing I could find. This beauty is called Nailed It by a Royal Mile and evidently the Royal Mile is the main strip in Edinburgh. It looks like a cool place to hang out. This is another blurple polish but it's not dusty like the previous one. This one is really rich and vibrant and it dries matte and as you can tell it dries really really fast. And I can't decide which way I like to wear this polish the most because it is absolutely gorgeous matte and it's absolutely gorgeous with a shiny top coat. And if you've been paying attention throughout this video, you would notice that all of my dupes have been from OPI. But for this one, this is the one and only one that's not by OPI. It's actually by Sinful Colors and it's called Let's Talk. And by bottle comparison, I thought they were going to be really close. But Let's Talk is more vibrant purple and Nailed It by Royal Mile actually looks more royal blue. The next polish we have here is called Things I've Seen in Abergreen and Aberdeen is a city in Scotland that is called the Granite City because it has so many gray stone buildings. This polish is a dark dusty gray camo type green. It's a cream and it's fully opaque in two coats. As soon as I saw this polish I knew immediately that I wanted to compare it to Rebel Without a Moss which is from the OPI Iceland collection of fall 2017. It's still the same kind of dusty camo type green cream, but it's more cool toned. The next polish is called Rubber Pub Pub, and evidently there are thousands and thousands of pubs in Scotland. Rubber Pub Pub is a dark graphite gray cream. It has a curly formula, looks like when you're applying it, but when it dries, it looks like it's just a straight up cream. It's really thin and kind of patchy streaky on the first coat so just apply really nice thin coats and it's beautiful once you get your application right. And I know my bottle is really ugly but I compared it to Dark Side of the Mood which is also by OPI and it's a little bit warmer and a little bit less opaque. Next we have OPI grabs the unicorn by the horns and the coolest fact of all from researching Scotland is that their national animal is the unicorn. I just think that's awesome. The polish is a dusty powdery blue crelly. I got it opaque in two coats but if your nails are a little bit longer you may need a third coat. I really like the way this polish looks on my skin tone and it's pretty unique to my collection. I compared it to Suzy Says Feng Shui and I was so proud of myself when I found this dupe because it's so close is so close but the Susie Says polish is just a little bit darker and warmer. And last but not least we have Nessie Plays Hide and Seek and of course this is talking about the Loch Ness Monster. Actually this is the second Loch Ness polish that's in this collection and the names on both of them are really cute and clever. This polish has a royal blue jelly base with green and gold shimmer. It's a really good three coater. It doesn't stain like I thought it was going to and there's no texture because there's no glitter. These are actually shimmers, not glitters. It's so deep blue sea shimmery and so reflective. I really like this polish and it put me in the mind of Catch Me In Your Net immediately. But Catch Me In Your Net is a lot more shimmery and a lot more reflective. So I went ahead and pulled my other sea and ocean inspired type polishes by OPI just to show you how they all look side by side and just to let you know how often OPI does these types of polishes. So all of the polishes in this collection are really beautiful. I'm a summer baby but fall nail polishes are my absolute absolute favorite. Now some of the polishes in this collection aren't really unique but they're still amazing and beautiful. And OPI polishes perform so well especially their creams especially their red creams. And for me this collection was such a nice comeback from those not so good neons from this past summer. 
If you would like to see my review on those neon polishes, I'll link it here and you can go back and watch and you can see what I'm talking about. So if you're wondering what my favorite is from this collection, it's actually Nailed It by Royal Mile. I just think this color is so royal and regal. It's just the most beautiful shade of blurple that I've seen in a while. And even though I have a couple of blurple polishes like this already, including the dupe that I showed you for this one, this one is just top notch to me. It performs well and it's beautiful whether you leave it matte or you put a shiny top coat over it. And okay, fine. So if I had to pick a second, it would be this other dusty blurple that's called Nice Set of Pipes. It's like the dusty sister to <laughs> dusty. <laughs> It's like the Dusty Sister to Nailed It by a Royal Mile. These blurples just kind of blew my mind this time with this collection, and I really just love them. So, fine. If I had to pick a second favorite, it would be Nice Set of Pipes. Okay, y'all, that's all I have for this video. I really hope you enjoyed it. Let me know down in the comments below which one of these polishes happened to be your favorite. If you plan on buying the whole collection, or if you plan on just shopping your stash to find dupes for this collection instead of buying any of them. And I have other fall collections planned to swatch and review on my channel so make sure you're subscribed and make sure you hit that notification bell so that YouTube will notify you when I actually post those videos. And with all that being said, I thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.